the project itself is looking to use very generously donated human bodies, in other words people that have passed on and have made an expressed wish that they want to give their body to medical science. The cadaveric models are basically the whole body, but we're very much focused at the moment on three main areas. The first is the cardiovascular system, in other words the heart and the blood vessels, and the second is musculoskeletal, which is basically bones and joints, and the third area is really related to cancer treatments across a range of different sites. The bodies themselves are very carefully looked after and prepared to allow us to undertake very lifelike procedures to replace animal models and animal work. Deep embalming retains the softness of tissue, it retains the colour and texture, it also has the unique property of retaining the vascular system of the cadavers which is what allows us to conduct our research. We can create a simulation of a clinical environment and test devices that haven't been tested on living human beings and we can test them on this model before to see how they work, to see if they function in the way we expect them to function so that we can ensure a device is safer to then be implanted in a living person. For the anatomy where we're looking at how something is delivered and whether it moves as it should and whether it turns, you know, this tight corner in the human heart, it's not going to be the same in an animal and so the testing is therefore better in this model. We're using the human cadaver for treating humans and therefore it's very much more relevant. The anatomy, the way the blood vessels, the heart is configured is exactly as it should be. The second area is that because of the nature of cadaveric donation, the individuals tend to be elderly and therefore they come with a range of different diseases already present in them. Whereas in animal models, then that's not the case. And the third area is because the cadavers are not living, it allows us to take time and care over the training or the device development, which is different from animal work, which can be rather rushed because you're working with a, an anaesthetised animal. There's a great shortage in the UK and in Europe for trained doctors conducting these really highly technically skilled techniques. And one of the reasons the public are not getting these treatments, such as thrombectomy of stroke, is because there is not enough trained doctors to deliver the technique. And so training and developing these models is a direct way to address that shortage and it's a direct way to immediately impact on you know, patients' quality of life.